Check Ball, instructional video for all ages. Redux. Check Ball, an overview. Check Ball is a sport using between two and six people, a tennis court, and a kickball. The ball is volleyed back and forth until 15 points are scored by one team. It's like a mix of four square, tennis, and uh, ping pong. How do I check ball? Step one, find a check ball arena. They look suspiciously like tennis courts because they are tennis courts. Step two, procure a WACA approved check ball. They look like kickballs because they are. Step three, find or make one to five friends. Draft them into playing. Let's check the check ball checklist. You got your check ball arena or tennis court, your WACA approved check ball, or kickball, one to five friends, or strangers willing to play, and athletic ability. Actually, scratch that. Anybody can play check ball. That'll help you find more friends. Now, let's cover formations. There are three styles of play. Triple, doubles, and singles. Triples is the recommended style of play for check ball. This is the formation for triples, which players will rotate through, and the boundaries of triples is the entire check ball area. Though the three styles of play are largely similar, this video will focus primarily on triples and an additional video will clarify all the rule differences for doubles and singles. But while we're here, this is the formation for doubles. You'll notice that the court is significantly smaller. Singles uses the same boundaries as doubles, but compensates for that by allowing two hits. More on that though in the other video. Now, let's cover the elements of a good serve. There are six of them. First, the score is announced. Then, the ball leaves the body. It bounces on the server side, goes over the net, lands in bounds or is played, and there are no faults. We'll cover faults in a moment. With those basics in mind, after the serve begins the volley. Here's how that works. The ball lands in bounds and or is hit by a player A. It can bounce. Player B can hit it. It can bounce. Then player C can hit it. It can bounce one last time before it has to go over the net to continue the volley. The ball is served and lands in bounds. Player A hits, bounce. Player B hits, bounce. Player C sends it back over the net without needing the last bounce, and so the volley continues. Let's talk about the rules of the volley. There are five of them, so we'll take them one by one. First, there is a maximum of one hit per player per volley. No double hits. Here we see Ian taking a second hit, and though this might be permitted in volleyball, check ball requires everyone to get involved. Next, two consecutive bounces ends the volley and either a point is scored or the volley is lost. However, a bounce is not required between hits, which can help catch the other team off guard or catch you off guard. Rules four and five of the volley are a bit of a mouthful, so let's talk about them in action. Hits during the volley do not have to occur while in bounds. Here you see someone recover the ball for the other player to safely send over the net. However, you cannot step on the other side of the net to recover the ball. Finally, after the last bouncer hit, the ball must either land in bounds on the other side or be hit by the other team. This continues the volley and resets your team's hit counter. So now you can serve in volley, but what constitutes a good hit? Three things. First, it can contact any part of the body. Second, it's instantaneous. No carries or rolls. Third, it sets up your teammates or goes over the net. And lastly, it's epic. It's time to get a game going, so who serves first? In check ball, there's no coin toss, no rankings, just a friendly volley for serve. Whoever's got the ball can start it off, but there are no aces. So each side must get the chance to volley before a team can win the first serve. Hence, friendly. Now the game starts with a serve. You might be curious about those serving faults. Well, if you get a fault, you have to redo the serve. If you get two faults in a row, you lose the serve. Let's look at the five types of faults in action. Net fault. The ball makes contact with the net. Foot fault. The server steps on or over the service line. Fly ball. The ball fails to bounce over the net. Teammate fault. The ball contacts a teammate before crossing over the net. This can be intentional or otherwise. Double bounce. The ball bounces twice on the server side. There are also two special serve faults that don't allow a redo. First is the serve out. If the ball is served correctly out of bounds, it counts for an immediate loss of serve. 
The other is net interference before the ball crosses over it, which counts for a loss of serve if the serving team interferes, or a free point for the serving team if the receiving team interferes. And now that we're on the topic of scoring, let's get to it. Only the serving team can score. There's no rally scoring. And the first team to 15 points wins, but you must win by at least two points. As you can see here, after a successful serve, a point is scored when the receiving team fails to maintain the volley. Otherwise, the serve is lost when the serving team fails to maintain the volley. Let's do a quick review. Teams volley for the first serve, servers get one free fault, each player gets one hit per volley per side, a bounce is allowed after each hit, but a second consecutive bounce or a hit out will end the volley. You play to 15 and win by two. Those are the basics. Here are a few more things to keep in mind. Net play. If it is allowed at your check ball arena, the net can be manipulated after the serve, but never removed. However, the ball cannot go under the net. Net play can be used to score a point, assist a teammate, or even block a shot. Holding is also permitted, but this rule is optional. Just make sure to keep the contact friendly so there are no injuries. It's important to note that holding can easily backfire especially if you don't stay in position to support your team. In check ball, every arena is different, so feel free to have fun with it. The ball can be played off of trees, fences, and even unsuspecting spectators without it counting as a bounce. Only bounces on the ground are counted. The sky is the limit. In fact, if you could, you could play off the sky. Also worth mentioning, dribbling is a clever way to catch the other team off guard. Since landing inbounds on the other side resets the hit counter, you can dribble the ball away from your opponents, but must eventually let it bounce twice. And lastly, check ball is a sport of the people, by the people, for the people. And as such, all check ballers are equals. Respect and encourage your fellow players, and be sure to end each game with a handshake. High fives are encouraged. Now, for one more quick review, you can only score on the serve. Net play is allowed, except on a serve. Holding is optional, but keep it friendly. The environment is fair game, dribbling is legal, and be sure to end each game with a handshake. Congratulations, you are now ready to check ball. Join our growing check ball community at www.officialcheckball.com. And when you're ready to take your check balling to the next level, check out our Check Ball Academy videos.